Hey everyone, welcome to another review. Today we're going to be doing a little of a twist. And I say that because normally I just do Transformers reviews. Like, oh hey, that's, that's, a, that's a norm. But today I want to do something really awesome. And it's sort of in a response to a comment in one of my one of my videos someone asked if i like dragon ball z and my answer to you is yes i love dragon ball z i love dragon ball and yes i i, I do love dragon ball gt and super but today we're going to be going back in time a little bit to the year 2005 when jack specific and bandai released the ultimate like oh, <laughs> the ultimate figure series and I've had these, there you go, that's the front. I've had these for years. Uh, I got them when I was in, actually it was before junior, yeah, I was around junior high. I think it was when I was in seventh grade, and I, it was, it was around that time. I was like, yeah, I was seventh grade. So, uh, it's been a, it's been a long time <laughs> since I've, since I've had these guys. So, it's a flashback, and I normally just left him in his box, but if you guys didn't see the front, it is Super Saiyan Vegito. And here you go. Magnificent. That's, that's the best way I can say about this. I love how they made this figure. And this figure is old, but it's weird to think that it, it, it has more or just as much posability, painting details, and our overall quality than a lot of uh, action figures that they've done. Uh, I can say these match up with the new Dragon Ball Super figures. And that's saying a lot. These guys can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. They may not be, you know, as tall as them, but they put so much detail into these guys, it's... It's awesome. <laughs> I just... What do I say? What do I say? Oh, uh, so what... Best thing, I really love the fact... They even put the Portara earrings in there. I don't know if you can really see it because of the light. You can see him. Uh, that's awesome. Just a small detail like that can make the figure a million times better. But he does have good head rotation. If you really want, he could go all the way around, but it just a little bit too much tension than I'd like to put on this guy. The hair is awesome. And it's not an over gold color to it. It's just almost how I would imagine if you actually want Super Saiyan. That's how your hair would look. And if I just flash this, you can see, like, <laughs> just the way that that gold paint can really re reflects off of the off of the the figure. So that's awesome. Uh, he does have awesome leg posability. I mean, if you have a figure stand, you can you can have him put in some awesome poses. And if I did, I would have two, and I'd have him with my Frieza from the same series set of fighting. But he's got, <laughs> he's even got detail in his, not detail, well he does. He's got posability, that's what I meant to say. He's got awesome posability in his foot. He's got a swivel, so you can get some really good angles with his foot. And even the boot itself, you can you can adjust. It does have some good knee. It's got some really good. It's been so long, and he's also he's got a mushroom peg right here, so he can the leg itself from almost mid thigh can turn. Arms you could turn 360 if you really want. I don't know if the purpose that would really serve, but it's a thing you can do. He's got really good, really good at, like, just, just posability. I keep saying posability. What more can I say about this figure? It's pretty much 100% posability. Uh, what can I say? It's, I guess you could say he's super. Ha <laughs> ha get it? Super Saiyan? <laughs> so anyways, he's got really good detailing on, on his, on his gloves or his fists. And just the face is awesome. It's the amount of detail that they put into that. But uh, he does have some slight posability 
taken away with the shirt. And I say with the shirt because if you really want, ta-da, you could take it off. Exposes a lot more molded detail and also it, it gives you more, more room to pose. He does have a slight ab crunch and he can bring his arms up more and more forward and get him in a really good, really good pose. He's ready to box someone up. But another cool thing that you could actually do with these guys is that some of them either came with extra extra heads or extra accessories but if you really want you could you could pull his oh, I have knobs you could pull off his <laughs> pull off his hands and he came with extra hands so he could do like oh no let's let's put one back on let's give him a fist but all fist <laughs> But you could give him some really, uh, really good poses with this too. You could do a full on, like he's gonna blast ya. you. Bring the elbow in, like things like that. It's so awesome, and I'm so glad I was able to get these guys when I did. And it's I, I feel like a kid again playing with these because, uh, believe it or not, I actually did. I did, I I I did I did play with you, and. Uh, responsibly I did put him back in his box and surprisingly his box is still in good shape nothing's cracked or nothing so I definitely kept good care of care of this figure over all these years but to show you guys some of the other ones that uh, came from this series there's a couple different waves there I think there was I think there was three different waves that they actually did for this series as you can see, I've got him, and I don't have anyone else. I do have Goku, but he's the non-Super Saiyan. I've got the Ultimate Gohan. I have the black and white non-Super Saiyan Vegeta. I've got Frieza, Final Form, and Piccolo. And I think that was all the ones that I had from that, from that series. But these are just awesome. And I recommend if you could try to find one complete, then I would definitely pick it up. Um, best places I would say is, I mean at this point it's going to be online, unless you know a private collector or seller. Uh, I would definitely try to pick this guy up. Uh, if you're big into Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, I mean... <laughs> And also Dragon Ball Super, I would say, yeah, I would definitely get this guy. He's going to look good on your shelf or wherever you have your Dragon Ball figure set up. If you got figure stands, then that's a that's definitely a big bonus. Because uh, the amount of poses and you could get the most coolest looking fight scene put up with stands. Someday, yes, I will have a stand and yes... I will have my Vegito on a stand. So, another cool thing I'd like to tell you guys is soon I'm going to be doing a review of my Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Morpher. I I did that at, I <laughs> I did that on my old channel, but I don't have any more. So I'm just going to do it for you guys because I know a lot of you guys really liked that video, and I know that you guys really liked how that that morpher was and it's beautiful also i'm going to be doing a review of my frieza and some other dragon ball z figures here soon but that's going to be kind of a secret up till i announce when i'm going to be putting up those videos so for everyone that likes dragon ball z yee rock the dragon and i'll see you guys soon thanks for watching bye <laughs>